Taurus. What's up? You guys keep calling me. Okay, I don't even want to say what's up. Okay, so hi. What's up? Not really. Okay. Um, hi. Hi. You guys, remember to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. I don't even think I said that in Leo. Okay? Please do that. Anyways, you guys, this is your love reading. These are general readings. You can get a private reading for yourself by visiting the website. The link is down below in the description bar. It will change soon, though, but I'll keep it in the description. But don't worry about it. I'll keep it updated. Don't worry about it. Not in every area, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll you know, don't worry about it. I'll let you guys know. But um, this is what I do. You can, you can order a reading through the link down below. These readings, sometimes they extend, sometimes they don't. So, right, this reading might not extend, probably not. So, um, but if it does, the link is also in the description bar down below, but right at the top. And go only if you feel guided to the extended readings. Okay, so now with all that being said, I know you guys, <clears throat> you guys have been calling and there are some things that have been worrying you guys. Okay. You've been wondering about this person, about this, you know, you know your connection. Whatever, we're going to look into the situation. All right. So let's have a look. What are they coming towards Taurus with? Oh my God, Taurus. You guys are my babies. Are the babies. You guys are the babies, Taurus. Oh my God. This person, like, they're too paranoid to even know and see what's in front. This person is, like, wrapped and trapped and dumped and duped in paranoia right now. Like, they are really just riddled in it, stifled in it. And they are holding on to it. I mean, yes, baby. They're not even looking at you through clear lenses, my love. Don't even worry about it, baby. They got you all twisted up, honey. They don't even see you clear. And I'm surprised you don't already know this. They're just worrying, 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 worries, goods galore. This person is like not seeing anything clear at this moment, okay? So you need not worry, okay? They're worried. <laughs> That was smooth. This person is a mess. They are needing to confront some major trigger, big thing in them that blocks them and that they're, it's like a boogity 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 boogie man, you know what I mean? And they're afraid to confront it, so this is what they do. They're kind of like, they're, they're trying to run that same game. <laughs> in the same schemata and it might not work it's not gonna work it's not gonna work because they're gonna have to confront it <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> they're just throwing paranoia your way so whether they're you know you whatever it is if they're not communicating whether they're communicating with you or not all that is, all that energy you're feeling off of them, that's just paranoia, baby. And that's, some, that's they're just, they're getting you twisted, my love. That's it. Because they, you, you are their wish fulfilled. And they are your wish fulfilled. They're just getting you twisted, as are you. So, need to get into, need to withdraw from that. Or connect to your higher power. Whatever you do, just relax. That's all I'm going to say, vibes. Vibes Cartel. And I say that all the time. Now. So this is all that's happening. <sighs> right now, I get it. I understand why you guys were calling. I'm sorry. Sorry I missed your call. Okay. I'm not going to say I didn't care. I'm just going to say I knew it would be a lot. And I knew I was dealing with a lot myself. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. This is going. This is going. Whatever it is, it's going. This relationship, it's it's there. Nothing has changed. They're just as consistent. They're just super paranoid right now. Okay? <clears throat> and they've been working on things. They've got a lot of things that they that they have on their plate. 
working on self-love as well. This whole journey for them has been about self-love and having victory and success in that, getting confidence back in life. And also this relationship, working and getting to this point in this relationship, I'm here working on this relationship, it gives them great pride and stamina. So it's not something that they, it's like a trophy to them. It's a victory for them. It's not something that they're willing to let go of. Yeah, they're focused on you. Oh my God. And they want to tell you something. They want to tell you the truth about how they feel. But I feel like they're just, they're coming out of whatever this paranoia energy is here. They're coming out of it. And they want to tell you about it. They want to send you some lovely messages. Look at that. They want to send you some lovely messages. But I feel like it's that fear. Like, oh, you know, what if they do this? It's like, relax, you know? It's not going to turn out like the karmics. If it turns out like the karmics, it's because they're a karmic. So it's good. You're getting rid of the karmics. So that's a good thing. So they're wanting to reach out to you, tell you how they really feel. They're going to send you a message. That's what they're focused on delivering to you right as we speak. They're just really fighting it off right now, Taurus. They're like, I don't know. Or they got a lot going on and there's too much vying for their attention. So they can't even reach for their phone. You know, that's what it is. They're following their heart. This person's in their heart. They know how they feel about you. That's why they just flow and vibe. And you be talking about, oh, you be bumping the current. And they be like, huh? But that makes them confront stuff within themselves too. So bless. All right. Whatever. So they want to talk about the reason past. Right, family. You guys became family in the recent past. You guys got married. You guys got engaged. Um, arrangements were made. They decided they were going to do it in the recent past. Whether they've done it or not, just as of yet, things take time. They're going to do it. And they decided this already since the recent past, that you guys are going to take this, that you guys are done with the one cycle and that your legacy, they want to have children with you. There's something around having children right now that this person is focused on. There's a change going on around ch children. Um, childhood, sexuality, transition, you know, there's a transition happening, death, okay, that's what they're focused on, this person is thinking a lot about, um, let, they're letting a lot of, they're, they're, this person is going through a massive, like, 12th house cleaning, this is deep, man, this has been going on for a long ass fucking time, and their vibration is rising, this person is mad high vibe, but it's because they're mad withdrawn, bro, this person is always within, like, if this person is without, it's weird, they're always within, you know what I mean, because they're really deeply transforming, letting a lot of stuff go, there is also, they're thinking about how much somebody has changed, I feel like there's somebody in their life, Taurus, <clears throat> it could be a father figure, it could be them, they have changed so much and have become so much more positive and lighthearted and optimistic. And it's and it's just through I'm here introspection, introspective work. So they're just thinking about, you know, what's to come. Like just they're letting go of like all the stuff that has already happened. Like there's been so much stress. They're let they're like not even and as they're letting that go they're like already seeing a new future for the two of you guys that's so much better that they're understanding all right that was justice or they're seeing this relationship as justice like they weren't able to see it before because it was just all this other stuff that was clouding their vision and then they would get mad stressed and paranoid and then they then they just they would just levitate you know then you couldn't even talk to them anymore and then now they're coming out of that so now you can talk to them you know, now this person can decipher their emotions enough to like speak to you, you know? They were so ungrounded. They, they were so ungrounded, it, so ungrounded, like so, all right? They were able to be there for you, okay? So um, they're seeing like the bigger picture, like, and the bigger picture in this connection is like everything that had happened, it was for what's gonna happen. And boom, that's the reason why it's gonna happen, essentially, but not fully. Cause some of the things I'm hearing, it was kind of taken, they feel like it was taken, but like low key, no, it wasn't. Cause they're gonna understand, like, I feel like it's kind of, but also they're getting justice for time spent in lack. There's a lot of things happening right now. It's so many, like it's so many moving parts, it's lit, but yeah. 
So now we're going to look into, you know, what's coming in in the near future. Okay. So it's something needs embracing. This person needs to embrace like God and like, so they're kind of hard on themselves. <clears throat> this person is very hard on themselves. So they might, they're coming in for an apology. They're sending you an apology or they're expecting you to give them an apology for something. You guys know your situation, but the apologies will be made whether it's you giving it or this person giving it. And it's for the, it's for the peace of this relationship. It's for, it's for just what is to happen. So they're going to be like making amends with all the stuff they threw your way. This person threw a lot of negative energy your way for a long period of time, or they were just involved in a lot of nefarious connections because they were very karmic. And there's just a lot of things that they're needing to shed, right? And they're needing to come to terms with and come to grips with that they needed this time off, you know? And also they needed to understand why certain things need to go. There's just a lot of healing here. Like they're letting go of like a lot of burdens. They were carrying whatever it was, it was just burdens ultimately, no matter whatever, no matter what it was that they were dealing with that was no good for them. It was just associated with many burdens because I, I feel like they look back on it and they're like, oh, that was burdensome, you know, because that was also impacting the connection. There was also an emotional loss here that this person, you're realizing that was trapping them. So I can, they, they're like, I can understand why that had to go because that was going to trap them or that was no good, you know. There was a lot of lies, you know, stuff like that. Oof. Um, but there's a lot of healing coming to this connection and they want to like heal you. They want to make you feel good. They want to, I feel like it, especially if it's been a long time coming, then they want to give you something that you guys have been needing to get for a long time. So whatever that is for you guys, if that's just a long time, whatever it is, like, you know, whatever, whatever. but that's coming. I'm seeing it. And just apologies being made, like it's just getting back to like the trueness of this relationship and moving away from all that gunky extra stuff. Yes. Yes. Okay. So they're going to be like, mainly Taurus, you're going to be feeling like that secure energy we was talking about yesterday. You're going to be sitting in that energy. Don't worry about it. That's coming. You're going to be sitting in that energy where you're not going to, you're going to be confident in yourself and you're not, you're going to be mad secure. So relax, you know, just keep going. Allow the healing to take place. Give it time. You know, they're coming out of paranoia. They're coming out of it. So I'm going to get some lovers oracle cards for you guys. Because I'm not doing extended, um, but even if I was, sometimes I want to get them, sometimes I don't. I just do what I want. That's what I do. All right, yes. And just in case you aren't wondering, perturbed. All right, I wanted to clarify it. That's what I do. I do what I want to do. So let's go. And that's the burden, you know. If you don't, then that's the problem. You should, because then if you're wondering about karmic connections and you're just coming, you're fresh out of one, that's why you don't do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. So that's what you need to do now, because that's why you left the connection, because you started doing what you wanted to do. That's good. First step. First cut's always the deepest. Huh? All right. So. Let's have a look at these uh, beautiful heart-shaped cards. Must we always say this? I don't know. All right, okay, so pick one, pick a card, okay? And that's the message for you. So we have the first one comes up face down. Doesn't matter how they come out. That one is the second one. <clears throat> Feels very interesting, but you guys go ahead and pick for yourselves. <laughs> don't pick on account of me. And then we have uh, card number three. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so go ahead and take a minute to, to choose. I'm gonna just sit back here and relax. No, I'll be here.
don't mind if I do. Okay, <clears throat> so if you're, if you pick card number one, you're deaf, you're really, really, really in the security pile, okay, so <clears throat> in the pile that needs to look at your secure, your comfort zone, and just step into it, and your comfort zone is like you, so whatever it is that you do, and that that's you, that should, that's your comfort zone, so embrace it, so criticizing one another only leads to further unhappiness, so basically it's like, <clears throat> If you criticize other people or other people criticize you, that's unhappiness, you know? Just, you know, just be accepting of others and just accept each other, you know what I mean? And you'll see that your relationship will magically transform. And the way it'll transform is that this person will just make you feel much more secure in this relationship that you won't be wondering all the time, you know? So criticizing one another, get rid of criticism. Stop criticizing people, stop making comments. Stop, like, don't make comments about anything. Even if it's like, oh, it's worrying me. Fine, don't make comments on it. Ooh, why am I thinking about, oof. Why did that just pop in my head, baby? Ooh, I'm about to do that. I sure am. Okay, so pile number, well, not pile number two. Card number two, if you pick this, your message is trust. You're going through a transformation right now. And you just have to, you know, go accept what's happening. And then once you accept it, it will, automatically transform you just have to accept it be like okay this is what it is relax relax hi pretty bird yeah calm down um <clears throat> calm down there's something that's transforming in your connection Relax. You're, you're fine. Okay? Change. Relax. And when you relax, you get into your passion energy, and then you take action, and then things are fucking amazing when you relax like that. You have amazing new beginnings, and you're just in the flow. I mean, you have allow crazy good things into your life. I mean, Jesus Christ. Relaxing is the best thing. Now, for card number three, and this is the perfect season for this. I mean, this is the most abundant plethora of a season um i'll ever say i mean wow i will say i will say 2019 of um you know when it comes to the, around this time when you know the energy was so electric and amazing i mean amazing things came in during that time and I feel like that's the energy that's coming up again, another another gust for that. And like, I feel like you guys are like gonna catch it and you're gonna see it's so amazingly positive. You're gonna love it just as good as that year. Feel really good, except your mindset. I feel like back then internally, it, it was you were in a different space. So now your mindset is, is, is healed, transformed. It's much higher vibrational. So you're gonna be able to accept these gifts in such an amazing way, an abundant way. Oh. I cannot wait. So a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. This person is thinking of you right now if you pick card number three. But even if you didn't, if you were here, this person is thinking of you, okay? This very moment, your love fills them with light. They want to say, I love you. If they don't say it enough, like I'm hearing on the phone, it's because they don't like saying it on the phone, but they'll say it to you all the time, you know, is what I'm hearing. They love you. Oh, they miss you and they they feel these changes as well and they you know they just want you to come out of being indecisive this person they want they're coming out of being indecisive and they understand that they just need to do certain things and it's okay it's okay to do those things all right taurus i'll be back again soon you know me i pop in i pop out that's what i do all right so i love you guys i guess those of you guys who love me i love you too um <laughs> don't mind little me Okay, so we'll talk later. Bye-bye. Very soon.